So now we have finished the feeds design and later we can add the up bar for it. But now we can start building the home screen. At the first let's build this backdrop layout. So for that we are going to use a new package, the backdrop. We will use this one, go to installing, copy this and go back to pubspec.tml file and paste it in here. Save your file. Let's go back to the example and copy this code. Go back to the home screen and paste it instead of this text. We need to import the packages now. I'm still getting an error. We need to add one more bracket. And let's change this index in here to zero. So the home screen will be the main screen. Let's save it now or restart it. So here it is. We don't actually need this subheader and we don't need this button in here. So let's delete uh, this in here. And I will cut this and add a leading to change this icon in here. I will paste it and choose the home. You can choose any one that you prefer. I will choose this one. I will save it. Or I prefer the home menu. And for the action, I will add an icon button. It's going to take icon size of 15. And I will give it some padding of 10. So edge and set to all 10 and it will take an icon that will take a circle avatar sorry avatar this one and it will take a radius of 15 and a white background color so background color colors dot white and capital C in here and it will take a new child as a circle avatar so let's copy this one paste it in here and it will take in here a new background image but first i will give it a radius of 13 and for the background image i will give it a network image and give it the same image that we use it in the user info screen so this one let's copy this link and paste it in here in here it should be the background image not color and this icon bottom should take also on pressed argument but it will stay null for now let's save it so here it is let's change this text to home and as you can see this height is so tall so we can change it by adding a new header height i will give it a height of media curry dot off context dot size dot height times 0 0.25 just like this i'll save it now now some of you may not like this rounded corner here and in here on the top left and top right so you can delete it or change it by heading over to this code or the front layer code so press ctrl on it and if you scroll down a little bit you will find this code in here so you need to change this radius to zero so if i select it now and press ctrl d in the visual studio code i will press ctrl d now it will select all the numbers that match or all the strings that match this and i will change it to zero you will get a warning in here but it's okay now if you restart it or save it nothing will change so you need to run it again i will run it again so the processing is now done and as you can see the rounded corner are disappeared we still need to change this background color 
so let's start doing it to give it a gradient color just like this one so let's start building it but first i will revert my changes in here i prefer the rounded corner and i will run it again and let's go back to the home and add a new argument called flexible space this one i will give it a container that will take a decoration of box decoration and i will give it some gradient linear gradient i will give it some colors the first one will be the color from the color consts i will choose the starter color and the second one will be the end color this one let's save it so here it is as you can see, a rather rounded corner is back again, and you can see it over here. 